Episode three of uh, Flavorful Reviews. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> three <laughs> weeks in. Episode three. Um, all right. So today, it's we're reviewing we're three re- books. We're reviewing three, three books. We're stepping it up. We figure we could talk more about books. Things, things, um, current things coming out on a weekly basis. Certain things. Certain things. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. What's in the sauce pot? <laughs> First up, Project Superman. Superman. Of Project the f- Superman. Flashpoint. Uh, the Flash Point. Um, okay, so this one was good. Kind it was, of. It was pretty of the three decent. Three books we read. Though. Yes, it was the best. <laughs> Can we start off with the artwork? What's yeah. up with Super Saiyan Superman? Yeah, like, really. His uh, hair goes into varying degrees. Like, it's of just so like, ridiculous. Yeah, like, I think you described the best. Oh, banana hair trunks. Yeah, yeah. by the end, Super Saiyan. Yeah, you yeah. know when trunks goes like Super Saiyan one point five. Yeah, one and a half. And, and he had like super bulks. He had like banana hair, yeah. and I was like, was "What the weird. hell is this crap?" But the art is really weird because it kind of starts off super mellow and generic, not a lot happening, and then as they get into the increasing powers of this Superman, from the Project <laughs> Superman, uh, it gets crazier, and those colors are more. Uh, yeah, and exaggerated and and it gets more Dragon Ball Z like. Yeah, more Dragon Ball Z like. What's that's happening? the theme of the comic book industry. Make it Dragon Ball Z like, and everything's. Mm, that's true. That's what There's happened. There's a lot of linkages Goblin. to like becoming Superman and like becoming distant from everyone, yeah. and sort of links to like uh, pretty much becoming Buddha in a sense, mm-hmm. yeah, and just losing ties to like wor- material things. Oh, maybe this is like um, a history lesson. Superman becomes Buddha. And then this actually oh no. takes place like five thousand years in the past. Which the Darth of uh, Super the, the time pacing <laughs> wow. in this is also really weird. Yeah, because yeah. there's one part where they suddenly jump like it seems like they jump twenty seven years into the future, but it's actually the past. We all got kind of lost because the very yeah. first panel it says like thirty years ago, and it's starting with the project beginning with uh, I forget his name, but Lane. No, yeah, uh, Colonel good. Lane. Yeah, which. Can we can we talk uh, Happy Gay Pride Week for everyone? There's yeah. this part here where Superman and Colonel Lane are talking, and then I think Superman's got a little crush on Colonel Lane. Well, there's just some mutual respect. I don't <laughs> know. We'll see. Well, I mean, there's a lot of dialogue where he's just like, he's like I, I want to. Be to him. Yeah. I want to be everything he wants. Maybe he's just a he father had figure. other responsibilities to go to other projects. Yeah, Ooh, wow. I mean, he could sure. be the father figure, but I mean, I think it'd be interesting if they went that whole, a the whole rep. Because so, I mean, Lois Lane, yeah, Colonel I Lane. Say, yeah. I think it'd be interesting. Uh, Forget DC, the daughter. DC, oh, let's do this, people. Maybe let's do this. DC. One thing I'd Break like to borders. sort of say: uh, the sort of twist at the end yeah. is almost completely pointless. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, Superman actually lands, like yeah. a baby Superman, and I was like, "What is happening?" Because the main thing is he's like locked down because he goes down on this mission. He just kills like everybody, and he's out of control. So they just kind of hide him away in a like a vault or something. Becoming and he says, and then it's okay because I sense it. The person that will acknowledge me and accept me has arrived, and then it's. So, do you guys suggest picking this up? Um, I think just to see what else happens yeah, in it, yeah. to pick it up, but right now this issue alone, eh. It's kind of like, mediocre at times, but it, get, it, it does build and it gets better. I like how they sort of look into and sort of dissect what it is to be like Superman and mm-hmm. being like almost the pinnacle of human perfection yet becoming distant in that way and the sort of metaphors to like religious context of that way i, I kind of liked it but there's a lot of weird issues yeah, I don't of know. art changing if you direct, like dragon yeah. ball z hey, pick this up. and you <laughs> like <laughs> superman then. if you like I'm bananas in, yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll probably continue reading it yeah we'll see we'll see but next up on the docket uh continuing on these flashpoints these different kind of mm. universe thing yeah. it's an alternate Sideways universe universe, universe, universe flashpoint thing uh we have hal jordan's where 
he what doesn't get the ring? I don't know yet. Well, he does uh, yeah, pretty he much. Ended, yeah. Mm. So basically, uh, it's like Top Gun, but yeah. in a comic <laughs> form. It's it's kind of generic storyline because I mean it's not that much different. He's a pilot. <laughs> yeah. He's See, but I don't know. Super I kinda, arrogant. I liked it though because it it, it was cute because he's like flying with his dad. He wants to be like his dad. Well, yeah. You barely see his like, dad. Yeah. He dies within like within the first, first five season. pages. His dad dies, yeah. and he's like, "Oh!" And then the next page, he's like, "Why would he ever fly? This is so weird that <laughs> yeah. he would, you know, still want to fly after his dad died terribly in a random plane crash." Yeah, it's like why can't he live rolls. up to him yeah. in his death? It's like, that's how highball highball rolls. He does that stuff. But there is one really cool part where a white shark man, jumps, yeah, a street yeah. shark comes yeah. from the ocean, yeah. and he's like. I, he's missing his sweet jorts here at Flavorful Sauce Reviews. Those we're, ripped jeans. We're obsessed with jorts. We're <laughs> very into jorts. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was pretty cool. The street shark. I, yeah. was, I was feeling that. Yeah. Um, but then, can we talk about the highlight, though? The Subway comic? Yeah, the oh, Subway man. comic in this is just... Mm. It's fantastic. Get that avocado like, sub. In the middle of the regular comic, yeah. there is another, pretty much a commercial comic about Subway. Yeah, yeah, these subway comics and they go away. destroy <laughs> these monkeys with the base uh, basketball. basketball. Grodd is controlling them, and his control is disrupted by a sweet two pointer. Yeah, sweet. Uh, he, you know, I think a lot of Earth's problems can be solved with sweet two pointers. And who are these Damn two people him. anyway? Because they're real people, aren't they? Yeah, they're uh, Carl Edwards and Blake Griffin. One's a NASCAR driver, and one's a basketball player. Rookie silly, theory. silly. I don't know. The sad part is I was more entertained by the Subway comic than the actual comic. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Uh, not I'm a sorry. lot happens. Yeah. The fact is, it's kind of like Flashpoint's both to like, show an alternate universe to all everyone's favorite heroes and give them like new twists and perspectives. Yeah. But with this one, it's pretty much kind of the same story. It, yeah. yeah. Kind of. Maybe, maybe later it'll pick up in something else. Like, I mean, this is issue one, but... Maybe when the Green Lantern crashes, it just... He goes, oh, you have to help me, and then the plane explodes, and then he's like, well... <laughs> Uh, I, I guess, guess I'm still Hal Jordan. What did everyone to... think of the art in this one? The art, it, it, it harkens back to like uh, old kind of like uh, Norman Rockwell kind of paintings. But at the Maybe. same time, like the shading makes them look really it's dirty. So, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> I thought when I read this. It like you can tell this was done like on a computer or something. Just like someone putting in yeah. lightly <laughs> blocks, like rectangular blocks in all the areas where it's supposed to be shaded. Mm-hmm. And they they just look dirty all the time. Yeah, it looks it's like they've been playing in the dirt all day. Take a shower, Hal Jordan. I know Hal Jordan's one. That's why they call him Highball because he just does cocaine all day. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> just well, gets really dirty. <laughs> wow. He gets really high cocaine and just rolls around in fields and like, oh Hal, you got to get off of that dust. Housies. Point. Um. But yeah, no. Would you guys recommend picking this up? Definitely uh, not. No. Uh, I you know I say yes yeah. I, I enjoyed this one pick it up I enjoy the subway comic <laughs> <laughs> wow pick it up that is for the subway comic yeah it's not bad <laughs> be honest wow it's good in a very cheesy way yeah anyways right. and Maybe well then. and now continuing our descent into oh, we geez. have Marvel Universe Wolverine so it's like Wolverine versus Marvel Universe can I can I just say something to yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yes yeah, we're on video just. Paul. It's it's it, essentially a zombie story, yeah, and it's and not an interesting one. And I mean, Marvel already has their Marvel zombies. Yeah, so yeah. Like, why did they? Why they have did a they whole do universe this? based on that? It's so stupid. I hate this book. It, like, they didn't even preface it that it's going to be a zombie story. Oh if you look at the God. cover, it's like okay, for some reason Wolverine's on the run and the Marvel universe is against them. Yeah, that's what it's I. It's because thought. they're turning into zombies. Oh, it's so stupid. And you wouldn't know it. that from the cover. No, it's just disgusting. And then it's just Wolverine trying to like. Being fine, smarter fine than everybody. Killing. It was weird. weird. I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, the way he's talking to everybody, it's like he knows everything and he's much smarter than everybody else. And I'm like, oh, okay, Wolverine. Even I, though everyone's right. already decided this is, like, an outbreak, but he still thinks, like, someone's behind it. Yeah. Like, somebody's trying to get me. It's like, it's wow, bro. It's silly. Yeah. I find that the Fantastic Four in this, and pretty much all the other heroes except for Wolverine, mm-hmm are really there to just give exposition for what's yeah, happening yeah. or, like, to try and decipher what's going on for Wolverine. And, like, it's kind of pointless. But Wolverine's just like, I'm going to go do my own thing yeah, anyways. And you then, guys are all wrong. And then he, like, murders people. Like, he kills Dr. Octopus, and they don't even say anything. He just, like, 
Slicing if you didn't out. see the metal arms coming, yeah, yeah you would have never yeah. known he killed Doctor Octopus. And like, I'm, and like, I mean, that's a pretty big deal, I think. Like, it's Doctor Octopus. You yeah. can just kill him. Like, oh, I'll just chop off your head. Oh, you're crazy. Okay. It's, oh, it's but so I was, I was just doing a snicked. I guess they're all just trying to lead up that. Okay, we got all the exposition out of the way. Now he's just gonna kill heroes for two hours. I don't know. Yeah, this is bad. Two straight. And the art in this is just kind of really. Yeah, like they make Wolverine look like Hugh Jackman. Like, what? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. They, but they have changes. like regular canon yeah. Wolverine, and then there's one panel where he just looks like Hugh Jackman. And he's just and he's just staring at me, and I don't like it. <laughs> like, no, you Jackman, you're so much more attractive than me. But the art in this is not very good. It's just a lot of shadows and like kind of exaggerated lines. I don't really like any of it. Like um, Doctor or Doctor Reed Richard just kind of looks curvy at times. <laughs> like it's he just babacious. Thing doesn't look like a rock man. Big it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. B W man. Yikes. Um. But yeah. B B M. No. Don't. I I would say maybe pick pick up this and then the next one see where it goes, uh, like Wolverine the best there is. A lot of people hated that. Yeah. But then as it got as it got on, I like loved it so much. I think that's I the like thing with single issues. You can't really judge the first one. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you can't. We're judging it now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but you can't. Yeah. But I mean, you gotta give it some. Get the first exactly. two or three issues. Make an evaluation if you want to continue buying this every. Check out this one. Check Isn't this only one. like three issues long? Isn't I think it's four. Four. It's a four, oh, right. yeah. so, it's four part. But uh, it's. I mean, it's got some potential. Wolverine like kills Colossus in the first like two seconds, which like, is pretty cool. They're like BFFs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was kind of adorable. Yeah. But then it gets interrupted by the. Okay, here's some. Here's some. Dangling threads about uh, it might be a zombie apocalypse. Who knows? Yeah, it's so clearly is. End of the day, it doesn't up. seem that well thought. Honestly, of it, I'd say skip this. We'll see if the second issue is good because you really don't need to read this to get any idea. All you yeah, need to know I is agree. a lot of people turn into zombies. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, some, rage virus. Something. Wolverine <laughs> kills Doctor Octopus. That's the most and he like important dismembers plot, Angel. Right? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was the best part. But. Whatever. That's Wolverine in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I think we're going to forego a trade today because we've talked about lots of books. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, on three, uh, one, two, three. Flavor 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 Flavor